In this video, we'll create a Lambda function to convert videos to GIFs. For this little project, we'll use the serverless framework. This framework provides a YAML configuration file and a CLI to deploy and manage your Lambda functions. And Lambda is a service from AWS that allows you to run your functions without worrying about managing servers. When you use this service, you basically only pay for the time used to run the function. And Lambda functions can be triggered in response to different events, for example, HTTP requests or interaction with S3 buckets. In this video, we'll create a function that is triggered when a file is uploaded to an S3 bucket. And this project was taken from the serverless blog, so I will put a link to this post in the description below. And basically, here are all the steps to create this project. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is to install uh, the serverless uh, binary. So we type npm install and global serverless. It will basically install the serverless binary globally on your computer. Uh, make sure you have npm. So if you have Node.js in your computer, it should, it should be fine. So once this is done, you should have the serverless binary. And this command comes with the uh, shorthand uh, alias, SLS. So we can type, for example, SLS create. So to create our new project. And we see that we got this error. Basically, it needs to know uh, the template we want to use. So there are different templates that we can use. For example, uh, we can see here AWS Go, blah, 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 Google Go. And the one we want to use is um, AWS Node.js, because this will be a Node.js function. And we pass the name of the project or the service and the folder we want to use for that project. And next, we cd into this new project, new folder. And we should see basically two files. We can ignore this git ignore. And we have the handler.js, which is where the, the function you are creating will be um, created, will be saved. And the serverless.yaml, which is uh, the configuration file for the serverless framework. So let's open up this serverless YAML file. And here we can see this file has a lot of config samples and comments. So let's clean this up a little bit. Uh, this part is the service name or the project name. So we already provided that, so we can leave it as it is. Uh, the provider is AWS, we'll be using AWS and Node.js for the runtime. And here we can define um, the, the environment for the function and the region if you want to change that, but we'll leave that as the default. Um, here we can define different um, different permissions for, 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 for example, S3 buckets and all that. So we will add that later because we need that. We can also define environment variables here and all these different things that I, we don't really need. Uh, we can also here change the, the, the function name that we want to, to use. Uh, so we will modify that later. And the event, uh, basically we have uh, Lambda functions can be triggered by different events. For example, here it will be like uh, an HTTP, HTTP request. So there's a re get request to this path. This will trigger the function. But for our case, we'll be using uh, an S3 bucket. So we can actually remove all this and add the 
the event the event later and here we define the the buckets and all the things we need but we can remove that so for now we will add a new config here uh, does this will be called layers that's because we will using we will be using um, a layer and in this case a layer uh, is basically a binary or a library that you can use uh, additional to the runtime so we will be using the ffmpeg binary to convert the, the videos to gifs um, so yeah all other samples of layers can be for example if you want to add another runtime that you don't have on on aws like php for example you could add the the binaries uh, composer and all the things that you need there and basically support php with lambda functions so in this case our layer will be called fmpeg and the path have to two four spaces for these files and the path will be a uh, layer so let's say this and now let's create the the actual uh, layer so we'll create a folder called layer cd into that and I will just copy and paste this from the blog post. So this was this will basically get the the tarball with the uh, the static file for the, the binary for ffmpeg. Let's untar this. Uh, remove the file. The original file and we should have this uncompressed file here and this will be remained to ffmpeg okay so we should have our new folder called ffmpeg and there we have the the binary So let's see the into the root folder and now we are ready to deploy the the configure the the lambda function and next we need to configure our AWS credentials before we we can deploy to AWS So I already have a, a, an IAM user here on the AWS only for these serverless functions. So you can actually do the same, basically create a user and give the this user permissions to, to access different services in AWS. In this case, for um, simplicity, simplicity's sake, I just created this user with administrator access so it can basically do anything and you need to get the access key and the secret for the user so you can actually pass that to to the serverless um, configuration uh, binary so after you get the 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 secret and the the key and the secret what you need to do is to type um, SLS config credentials and the provider will be AWS and you get the key from the AWS web website and the secret and you just copy and paste it here I already have it so I won't do I won't run this command so after you run this command you should be able to now type SLS deploy and deploy this this function with the layer so this will take a, me, a few minutes the first time but after this is done you can see 
We now have a new service uh, called GiveMaker. Uh, the default uh, environment will be dev. The region will be is one. And here's some more information. We don't have endpoints. Then the function is called hello. We'll change that later. And here's a new layer for this function. So we have this ffmpeg here. And now we can start working on our function. So let's add something else to our configuration file. Uh, we will add a, a custom variable that will be called uh, bucket. This will be the bucket name. So it will be called give maker bucket in this case. And now we can rename the the function here. Uh, we want to call this um, gift maker, and the handler will be gift maker. And uh, here we will define the event. And this will be an S3 event. So it will be uh, here, we'll be passing the name of the bucket. So in this case, will be custom the bucket. And the layer will be the new layer that we just created. And here we will be passing a ref. And this ref name is basically the name of the layer, which if, uh, is ffmpeg. And we append the lambda layer to the name. So it's just this string, and we add this other string. That's basically what we need to add there. And we also need to give the, the function some permissions. So we need to allow the, the function to, to access the S3 bucket. So we will add these permissions here. I am roles statements. And this will include allow and the action will be s3 put object so we want to allow the function to add a new object to the bucket and to read the object and the bucket or the resource will be arn WS S3 self custom bucket and everything inside the bucket. Okay, so this is pretty much what we need to do on the serverless YAML. So now let's go to the uh, the handler function. So now let's open the handler.js file. And here we can see there's an, an example response. Basically this function, the hello function, the example, we return a 200. If there's if the function is called, it will return a 200 uh, message uh, with this message here, this string and the, the the event object in here in this variable the input but we will not use this code we'll create a new function the name will be give maker instead instead of just hello and uh, before we uh, we start the function we need to add some different modules the first one will be a spawn, spawn sync. 
this is the one we will use to to call the dfmpeg binary and this comes from the child process uh, the other one will be from the file system module so we need to read the the file we need to write to the file system and we also will delete the file so we need these three modules from file system and the last one will be we will need require uh, AWS so we can actually upload the file to AWS and the S3 object here we need to initialize that okay so I think this that's all and here we start working on the function and basically we'll just copy everything from the blog post so I guess it will be easier to just copy and paste everything and try to quickly see what this is doing uh, let me see if I may yeah I think this is right so um, when we call the function we get the this event object In this event object we can see that basically uh, where it is coming from so in this case if we don't have these records um, field here that means that this is not an s3 called so we won't do anything there but if we have these um, these records we should be looping through that uh, that array and when we get um, that the the record is an is an s3 object uh, we basically try to see if that's a, a gif file sorry we, we try to see if there's already a, a file with uh, with an a gif extension for that particular object key or basically file name so if there's one we basically don't do anything but if there's something if but if we don't find a gif file already created we'll start working on the on creating the the the, the gif file based on the video so we get the object from aws s3 we write that object or that file to the temp folder in the file system and here we called the ffmpeg uh, binary and we pass the, the the file from the temp folder the original file and next we generate a gif uh, in this particular path which is basically the same temp folder uh, with the gif extension after that we should have the the file on the temp folder so we get read that file into the function we remove the files from the file system and now that we have this this uh, this constant with the file we can basically just put that string into the body of the object and I love that object to S3 and that's basically it that's that completes the the function process now let's save this file and I think I will apply prettier here so it looks better and now we are ready to deploy so let's type SLS deploy so we can deploy the, the new function please make sure the value of the property is a string okay so let's fix this and after several minutes of 
trying to figure out what's going on. I realize I have a typo here. So this is custom.bucket, which is uh, the convention for getting to this particular uh, section of the YAML. And uh, also this part here should be uppercase for the name of the layer. And let's try again. Okay, so this is done. So let's check out on AWS if we can upload some MP4 here and make it uh, a GIF. Should take a, a few seconds, and there we go. Okay, so first let's make this public and try to open this for some reason. Um, on Chrome, you just try to download the file. We'll actually open this on Finder. So as you can see here, this is the GIF. So it's working. And that's it for this video. If you find this helpful, make sure to give a like and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching. Bye.